everyone, it's Telby from Learn Thai with Telby. Welcome to this video and welcome to my channel. I have made this video because most of you guys requested. I have a reason why it took me so long to make this video. Let me explain about Isa language first. This is Thailand's map. This part, the northeast of Thailand, we call Pak Tawan Ok. But for spoken Thai, we say Park Isan, which Park means region. There are 20 provinces in Isan. I'm originally from Nong Khai, but I moved to Khon Gan to go to college. After that, I moved to Mahasarakam to continue studying for my bachelor degree. You have no idea where it is, right? There is a university in this small province where a lot of people from around Isan moved to go to university. During this time, I figured out that everyone speaks a different dialect. I'm originally from Nong Khai, which is next to Laos. So most of the words we speak are the same. But if you come from a province that borders to Cambodia, like Ubon, you will speak Isan with some words that are from Cambodian language. But if you are from Korat, you will speak another dialect that uses different words. Even though we use different words and have different dialects, but somehow we still understand each other. It's just like Norwegian and Swedish. So this is the reason why I don't know what dialect you want to learn and what area in Isan you will visit or live in. Isan is a dialect that we use to speak in a specific area without our own alphabet. And this is learn Thai with Toby, not learn Isan with Toby. Hi guys! Welcome to Learn Isan with Toby. How does it sound? As the video's title says, Homophone Thai and Isan. So what does it mean? I'm gonna give you guys words in Isan that has the same pronunciation in Thai. And people all of areas of Isan will understand in the same way. So let's drive in. But, but in Thai, it means to open and turn on. Choi, but, pratu, dang mai ka. Choi. Could you please open the door? But in Isan, it means it bore or boring. Bore ya, het ngan, mong ni lao. But bore ya, het ngan, mong ni lao. But I don't want to work here anymore. I'm bored. Sai, sai in Thai, it means clear, bright. Or transparent. Na kau sai ma. Na kau sai ma. His face is so bright. Sai in Isan it means where? Pai sai ma. Pai sai ma. Where have you been? Bo in Thai it means pawn. Pai bo ma mua wan. Pai bo ma mua wan. I went to the pawn yesterday. Bo in Isan. It means no, term that is used the same in Thai, but it's spelled differently in Isan without an O ang. Nyang hak kao bo, nyang hak kao bo. Do you still love him? Bo, no. Bo, bo. So it depends on where you are. So it's kind of similar. Bo, bo. Hang, hang in Thai means shopping mall ฉันทำงานที่ห้างแห่งหนึ่งฉันทำงานที่ห้างแห่งหนึ่ง I work in a shopping mall ห้าง in Isan it means to collapse or to break down โทรศัพท์ห้างมือว่านโทรศัพท์ห้างมือว่าน My phone broke down yesterday ดึกดึก in Thai it means late at night อย่านอนดึกนะอย่านอนดึกนะ Don't stay up late ดึก In Isan It means to throw something อย่าดึกขยะลงแม่นะอย่าดึกขยะลงแม่นะ Don't throw garbage into the river 
Thank you for watching. If you would like to know more about Isa, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll teach you more. Maybe I'll show you some Isa dishes. So please stay tuned. Bye!